new program changing the lives of inner city kids in Prince George's County. Yeah, it uses the arts in order to draw them in, and then it molds them into productive members of society. As Ben Isla reports, the impact could go well beyond the children. 11-year-old Jay Lynn is growing up in a neighborhood plagued by drugs and crime. There's a lot of people that's like in gangs and stuff and like bringing violence to my community. He says he struggles to stay out of that world, but he's found a passion. I like dancing. That's the only thing I like to do is dance. And a new program has given him a chance to explore it away from the streets. It really helped me because my part is all about dancing. The nonprofit Higher Hope starts to help local teens write and perform a play about themselves. Bang, 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 bang. Entitled Little Red Riding in the Hood, it tells the tale of a girl who can achieve great things, but only if she makes the right decisions. It's the story of all 80 kids that have worked on the show. Some things that you do, it can't be because you want to be cool. We want to redefine cool. If we can redefine cool, then we, we got it. Bruce Purnell, founder of Higher Hopes to the Outcomes, says the arts function as a popular and positive way to draw kids in. And once he has their attention, the real work can begin, mentoring them into positive, productive members of society. They become more empowered, they're more outspoken, they're more active. And the kids say the play's impact doesn't stop with them. They want to show the community what together they can achieve. A lot of people come to see our plays, so it's basically like holding up a mirror and showing them how things can be. So we're trying to change the community and make everything better. And the show will start at 7 p.m. tonight. For details, check out our website, WJLA.com. In the newsroom, Ben Eisler, ABC 7 News. Love that. So much creativity, mm -hmm. so much talent. People! Like the, the program director for HGTO and a lot of the programs. And we just like to say hello and get you to say a little hello to the viewers for us. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. Now, Javon, tell us a little bit, give us a little bit of insight as to actually what you do for HGTO. Right, I'm the director of the program from Higher Hope. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. It's cold. Uh, it's real cold and heavy. Okay. I sure appreciate everything. Hey, y'all do it for my son, son here. People! Good day, peoples. This is Smith's Metropolis, this Flashy Prince, and I want to give a shout out to Higher Hopes and Outcomes. I'm just a straw in the brick of the pyramid. What's good? It's your boy CM Cole, bitch behind the dark shades. Mad shout out to Higher Hopes and Outcomes. Peace. Yo, uh, Waste the Table, call us Paul, your favorite manager. Higher Hopes and Outcomes. What up? Hey, what's up? This is Harmony. Shout out to Higher Hopes to the Outcomes. My love y'all, man. Salute.